Hi right, guys, Brian here with Delta's Adventures, and today we're going to be putting a snorkel on the JK. We got it over here. This is just the, the AEV $60 snorkel on, on Amazon or eBay. Um, I'm not spending $400 on a rugged ridge, so uh, yeah, stay tuned and, and we're going we're gonna to make it fit. All right, let's unbox this thing. Got the snorkel, the head. Very well taken care of parts. That's it. All right. guys you got to see this come over here what is that the worst illustration of a jeep ever look at this intake i mean if you're going to sell a product seriously let's depict the uh the right the right picture here but i guess you get the the general gist of it but i just can't i'm gonna let my 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 daughter color this in later that's about all this uh these directions are useful for so all right now to put your snorkel on you need to take off these two panel screws or bolts. It's 10 millimeter. All right, now for the vertical support for the snorkel that will go here, you will need a T40 Torx bit to take these off. Um, you can also use your tool kit that came with the hard top to remove it if you don't have one of these already. All right, guys, change of plan. So these. These brackets are too high and they cannot be forced down even with the snorkel on. So we're just going to take them off completely. It's molded around the plastic here and the air box itself will hold it in place. So it's not going to go anywhere. Alright, so now I'm going to use some Gorilla Tape on the back of these mounts here. To, uh, so that way it doesn't scratch the surface of the Jeep. Take your knife and just trim off the extra. I'll just grab your drill and drill out these rivets. Alright, so we need to take about an inch off the bottom of the intake here. So we're just going to go ahead and Good. 
fit now. All right, so now with the two bolts on the A-pillar loosened, we can go ahead and get this mocked up. And then once it's mocked up, we're gonna take those bolts out and take the whole unit out as a whole, keeping it where it needs to be so we can caulk all the extra gapping in there. Alright, so that's exactly where it needs to be. So I just fold it in half and I put that right in the seam. And then press it down. This caulk laying around, it says that it's 100% waterproof. Uh, we're gonna use it Dynaflex 230 exterior. It's white, but it's on the inside, so I don't care. So we're just gonna fill in right down here. Alright, so now that we have it all caulked up, we're going to go ahead and get this back installed and then we'll caulk those three holes. Slide this in like this. Set this over here, line it up. Two, and three. There, and that can dry. We, it's not going to go in the intake or anything. So, all right, let's get the intake all mounted back on, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the damage to the hood. All right, so now let's put everything back in. Alright, so what you want to do is get your tape ready on your template first, and then you just measure one inch from this ridge line over to the edge of that of your template, and that's where it's got to go. So then, after the hole's cut, your trim piece will go over it, and it will clear as it comes down. Now there's no going back once I do this, but these mark where where you gotta drill your inch and three quarter. Let's get it right in the center. Take a marker and we'll mark this out. We'll get to cut. That's 
That's it. Ready? I'm going back. here and that will make your that'll make your curve and then you take your angle grinder just to connect the straight lines so pretty cut dry simple and I put a blanket down behind to keep all the little shards and stuff out of the engine it's a fire retardant blanket got it from the military we're all good let's do it inch and three-quarter hole saw let's do it Alright, you gotta cut through both. There's a, a subframe under your under your thing. You gotta cut through both. Alright. Well we'll come from the back way to get that other part. But that's it pretty much. get the trim installed. Just take your file and tape off the edge here. It's, you're not going to see any paint difference. Alright, so line up the trim piece. Right like that. We'll drill this side first. Give our Jeep a little head. We're 
square. Now all I'm going to do, a lot of people steal these. They just come by and give it a good hit. I'm going to put a couple, a couple screws in here, just so if someone tries, it'll offer a little resistance.